because it always just perks me right up and ready to go. So fun to be here with you guys tonight. <sighs> if you have had a busy week and you just need to sit back and relax, we would be honored to have you sit back and relax with us. This is Craft Roulette. I am Mary Gunn of Mary Gunn Fun, your intrepid host of Craft Roulette. And what is Craft Roulette, you say? Well, in a nutshell, it is the ultimate paper crafting card making game show challenge. And we are live almost every Friday night. But we, when we're here, we always have a seat for you because it is so nice to have friends to travel with on this card making journey. And you guys are friends. I'm telling you, absolutely. Chatterbox, you look like you're doing well very well. If you are here because you know Kelly and you have never been here before, this just bear with us. We're kind of in our own little world here and we use words that don't exist and and we talk about things that probably won't make sense and we're going to do some improvisational card making which I don't know. We're going to do a bunch of things that you may find a little bit odd. But we're good with that and we're glad you're here. So just bear with us. Mr. Producer's over there on the other side of the camera. He is doing all the things to make this show run smoothly. Kelly is in her place. I can see her right in my little tiny monitor. She's looking forward. She's going, well, I guess I can't prepare anything to do, to do tonight. So nope, we're just going to throw her in and make her, make her make something. But she was on episode 77. That was so long ago. Um, she was on episode 77 and she made a card like, like she makes cards all the time. She did a beautiful card and she didn't get her favorite colors and we're looking forward to seeing if she can get something better tonight. Slideshow, if you are enjoying the slideshow before the show started, that, what a fun bunch of things you came up with. You are an amazing group of crafters and craftettes. You truly, truly are. The northern lights that you did were wonderful. The way you fit in the blackboard parameter. Mm, mm, mm. Chef's kiss to you all. 397 contributions. Four process videos. Now, this is the thing. We love our process video makers. And sometimes they'll make a card and you go, how the heck did they make it? Well, they have started upon their taking it upon themselves and making the process video on how they make these wonderful cards. And it's, it's just such a delight to be able to see you guys come uh, just branch out into something new or maybe something familiar. It's a, it's a neat thing. It is also associated with every episode on craftroulette.live, so you can always find them. It's easy peasy. Speaking of craftroulette.live, thank you guys for being so patient. We are undertaking a huge change. Moving from Patreon, we will be shutting it down at the end of the month, over to our own site on craftroulette.live, a member site. And it's a big, big deal. So it, we're doing that for multiple reasons. One is because we're able to offer more services and more cool stuff over on our own site. And it was just too clunky to have Patreon and us. So thank you guys for bearing with us as bugs would come up. And who knew? I, every once in a while, I hear from Mr. Producer and he goes, now I know what happened. What? <laughs> and then he explains it. And I go, oh, yeah, I understand. Oh, you should ask me. I could have helped you. Anyway, lots of new stuff this week and lots of new stuff coming up. One thing that you may have noticed, for members, is in the gallery, you can now add multiple images of your card. It only counts as one card, but uh, you can add multiple images. So that's a really fun plus, and I hope you're enjoying that. Um, another thing, what was the other thing? Oh, in the gallery, you can see if you're a member, it says member. And so if you see member, then it opens up and it has a, your little description and your socials and all that kind of stuff now associated with every one of your cards. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Producer, give yourself a hand there. Let's give an applause. That was good. <laughs> That's right. I think he needs a, an applause for that. Speaking of applause and support, if you haven't given us a Vinny a thumbs up, we would appreciate that too. And make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, spin sponsors, we've had some good ones this month. We have two more weeks of them giving away their goodies. Rabbit Hole Design is giving away a voucher every week. 
Thank you, Marianne. We talk about our grandsons or grandsons. Yes. And Waffle Flower Crafts has been a great sponsor. Nina will be on next week. I'm looking forward to having her on. Your Paper Insider. I just got my new box this week. Oh, Team Purple. You got to see those papers. They're gorgeous. And Glassboard Studio is giving away an 18 by 4, 24 inch glass craft board that has our own little craft roulette emblems on it. So we thank you guys for being our support for giving our giving away your stuff to our friends who have sent in cards. But we are sponsored by our support team in our membership. So we thank you so much. You can find more about that on craftroulette.live. Support our efforts and join us for as little as $5 a month. Also, Silver and Up, we're going to have our first after party tonight. So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully we don't, the wheel isn't too mean to me and I get so worn out. And we'll be able to just go over and talk about that old mean wheel <laughs> and all those other things. I look forward to spending time with you. Um, I'll tell you again, remind you later in the show. We do have some new members this week. I would like to give a warm welcome to Tina Juan Kenobi. I believe I saw you. You're in the Philippines. Jennifer C., Paula Himmel, and Moira Schultz. Thank you guys for becoming members. We hope you are enjoying looking around in the video library and the discussions and the card exchange and all the things that are over there for our members. Um, Mr. Mike? I put blue on him tonight because Kelly Taylor's boyfriend is blue. So I just went ahead and made him blue tonight in honor of her presence. We do have some merch with some lovely togs and our stamp set and our die set. And we will um, we will shame, shamelessly promote those later in the show with a an ad. And then um, we also have our, com oh, I've got mine out. Our creative companion, <laughs> which is my own little craft roulette journey, uh, and that is available through Trinity Stamps. I've got mine ready to put down all my elements. It's going to be great. Next Tuesday, by the way, all patron or not patron, all members will have a call to talk about how they're using their book or get ideas from if you don't have one yet after in review on Tuesday. My, 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 that is enough of me. Now from Ohio. Oh, one second, Whoa. really fast, really fast. Sorry, for... sorry, Kelly, she's over there. I can see her. She's itching to get on, I know. Uh, just a note from the producer. We did enable Super Chats and other monetizations oh, right. on the channel, and I just wanted to say that if we get any, uh, people did ask for it, we would prefer that if you spend money, get, you know, you yeah. go sign up for the membership for a month so you get something in return. But if you do send super chats during the show, we will split them with Kelly. So whatever we make tonight, we will <laughs> split. Went, oh, <laughs> we will split with the guest that evening. So if you want to support the guest and the show, you can send us a super chat. So. Oh yeah, we just want to try that. We've never done that. I know she's going. Don't do that. Don't do that. But you can give it away, Kelly. We'll bring her on from Ohio, and she can think of all the donations she can make to other YouTubers and all those things with all those Super Chat bucks that we're going to be making. Welcome, Kelly Taylor. So nice to well, have you back. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Round two. Hopefully Round two. Hopefully the bill is kinder. You, um, yeah, yeah, you were, well, there were multiple things going on that were... I was surprised you were on. But before we talk about all those terrible woes that you got through, those over things that you overcame, because you truly did, uh, let's get a, have you introduce yourself to us and tell us who you are. Uh, okay. Um, so my name is Kelly Taylor. I have been previously to getting uh, remarried. I was Kelly Latavola. A lot of people yep. know me by that last name because that's how I started my crafting journey. Um for years, card making and crafting was my de-stressor after work. For um, almost 20 years, I was a police fire EMS dispatcher. Um, now I've been repping my, see my little headset for the, yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, didn't even realize that I had it on. But anyway, um, <laughs> so I did that. And this was like what I did when I came home from work to de-stress was create. Yeah. I've always been creative. 
And um, then about two years ago, after the birth of my youngest child, um, I quit my job, my full-time job. And now this is my full-time job. Um, God has blessed me to work with a lot of wonderful people, a lot of wonderful companies, um, all the companies that you named that, um, you know, are, are helping out and sponsoring the show. I have worked with every single one of them, have nothing but wonderful things to say. It's a, it's a great community and I have it been is. very, very blessed in working in it. So typically I am, I'm a colorist, um, <laughs> Hubba, doing hubba. Are you a colorist? An opportunity to kind of play around a bit more, which is super fun. Um, but at, at, in my heart, I I am a colorist. I'm a, I'm a stamper and a colorist. So hopefully, that's you've a benefit a, me tonight. You've got an eye, and you've got the hand motion for the coloring thing too. You've got the you've got everything that works together. You did a wonderful card last last um, time, just with Copics. But you're coloring like on die, die cuts and things now too. You were mostly yeah. just a single layer kind of girl when I saw you last time. So you've kind of branched out. Uh, I've had no choice. The market <laughs> has changed. Yeah, and that's okay. Yeah. We're all we're all learning together and growing together, and that's it's good. Yeah, yeah. Some of the things that you were stuck, you were having to overcome when you were on here last time. Um, you were refinishing furniture, you were eight months pregnant, and you were a dispatch working like ridiculous hours. You had sciatica, and, <laughs> and it was just like, oh, um, I just felt like I needed to cradle you. Yeah, <laughs> I, was was a hot, I was the hot mess express the last time, man. And honestly, <laughs> none of those things are happening right now. And Yay. still, I am a total hot mess. Like, you <laughs> just get what you get. <laughs> I told you earlier when we were talking, like in the pre-show, my husband was like, are you going to, he's like, are you going to do your hair? And I was like, nah, no, they're going to get what they're going to get. This is. And, see, and, I, and I said, oh my goodness, she's got her hair up. It looks so pretty. So, you know, behind, I have the beholder. Yeah. Just roll with it. Since it's been so long, it was like 2021 since you've been on, did you have a question about craft roulette for me? Uh, you know, I did. Okay. What is craft roulette? <laughs> She's good. Hey, look at all these chatterboxes giving in, going with the super chats. This is exciting. Mr. Producer, let's bring on what is craft roulette. We'll be right back with you, young lady. Hang on. What is craft roulette? Craft Roulette is a live paper crafts challenge show where the goal is to complete a project that has been randomly selected by the spin of a wheel. There are four categories we spin for, project, colors, element, and random. Each category has 24 possible options with a combined possibility of 331,776 unique projects. Whoa. We're live every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash Craft Roulette. Please like and subscribe. Each week we bring on a special guest crafter to create along with us and share their unique take on the challenge. You can play too. Complete a unique project of your own using the same four parameters set in this episode. You'll have 48 hours to contribute by submitting pictures of your project through the submission form on craftroulette.live. Contributions are featured on marygunfun.com's weekly episode blog and the next episode. Let's recap last week's episode and submissions. Yep, that's what we do almost every week on Friday evening. And man, it's so nice to be here. I, sometimes I think on Friday, I'm really tired. I don't know if I can do the show tonight. And then I get here and you guys jazz me up and there's no way. There's no way to stop it. So we are so glad Mr. Producer is taking names <laughs> of you folks that are being so kind with the Super Chat. We will be working in those comments here in a little bit, but we have first. I'll just, I'll just read these now. Okay. Let's uh, bring them on. Carmen Baby, Rosie Rose 42, Irene Smith, Craft by Jay, Cindy Elkins, Janine's Craft Room, 
Sylvia Torres, Judy G, Gloria Davis, Dad, uh, and Susie. <laughs> All thank you. We are definitely splitting these with definitely. Kelly after the show. So you are supporting us and Kelly. Thank you. Yep. That's awesome. That really is. That's fun. And um, she, Kelly was saying during the what is craft or what? They should be members. And I was going... Most of them are. So thank you guys for double dipping. You are the best. We had 397 contributions last week. That's a total of 33,308. Oh, by the way, I bet that six pack is on the list right now, Gloria Davis. So look at you guys all over the world sending in cards, making the world cuter and crafters happy. Thank you so very much. Last week, we had Include Action, Northern Lights for Colors, Blackboard for Element, and Oval for Random. That was my card. It was on a wobbler, and they were just giggling at a coffee shop, having the bestest time, those little hammies. <laughs> so, it was a fun card to make, and it was fun having our guest who made this card, Carrie Rhodes. Carrie Rhodes also came on our third show, which is a member show. And was my get mystery guest this week. It was a lot of fun talking about the cards that we, because we had just made the cards with those same parameters and looking what our members had made with their, those same parameters. It was fun to hang out with her. There is something that Carrie Rhodes and I can do very well together. We can chat. My gosh, that girl is easy to talk to. She's a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Carrie, for being on both of our shows last week or in the seven day period. Now, this is new for Kelly. We're gonna bring her back in and we're gonna have our parade of achievement. It's a time that we just like to kind of toot, toot the horn of our contributors. And we're going to talk about our first timers and welcome them. Our major milestone achievers, like the people who have sent in 25, 50, 75 cards. Um, new to Club 52, you're still getting nothing. But we're going to welcome you, and we didn't have any major my or any mug clubbers this week. Plus, our leading ladies, of course. So, are you ready, Kelly, to be inspired by these wonderful cards? I am ready. All right, let's welcome our first timers. That's the hardest one. In the first timers are... Julie Kerwin. Is that really your last name? That's where our cat's name is. Hillary G. That's pretty. L. Hart. You did it, L, even though you didn't know how. Whoa, well done. Linda Veal from California. That's cute with the little owls. Patty R. from California. That's so lovely. Carrie Mannon from Australia. Welcome. Welcome all. Our major milestone achievers this week. You guys have some big numbers. <laughs> For 25, we have Mandy Fish from Australia. Well done, Mandy. Helen Y from California. There's some coloring. You can talk over my mom if you want, Kelly. Yes, you can. <laughs> Diane W from New Jersey. All 25s. Mariana Risley, because <laughs> I will fill the dead space. Kathy Tim T Team Teal Haywood, 25 cards. Barbara Foster's up to 50. This was a cool one. It pulled and it made the little flowers grow. Karen Horn from Ohio. Maybe you'll oh, run into her. Kim Sharp from Texas. That's a cute little beetle. Sue Small Crider. This card pops up when you open it and she's got a video. Andrea Oftemar from Switzerland, 50 cards. That's really pretty, Andrea. Jan Cam from Arizona, 50 cards. Oh, that's a fun background. Mm -hmm. Nina from Pennsylvania, 50 cards. So many cards. Susie from New Zealand, 50 cards. Ann Schmidt's up to 75 cards. Congratulations, Ann Schmitz. Schmidt. Wow. Kathy Herring has hit 175 cards. Well done, Kathy. Oh my gosh. Our leading ladies. Now get a load of these ladies. Kathy Herring's one of them. Smurf Murphy, 171 cards. We reconciled her missing cards. 
she's back. Jackie Muller from South Australia, 172. You too, I tell ya. Kevy Herring, 175 cute cards. 5K now, 6K Lamone, 177. Hope you're having a good vacation. Ellen Card Monkey Jarvis, 188. I hope you're doing well, Mr. Jarvis. Wow, what a fun And Patty Beck, 205 cards. She hasn't missed a week since episode five. Welcome oh to Club 52. Donna Shelkuski from North Carolina. Well done. So pretty. Sina, Maisie's Craft Room, 52 cards. That's not finished though, my Sina. Uh uh. Lisa B from Missouri, 52 cards. All of those cards are out of this world, I'm telling you what. Club 52 welcomes you with great big warm hug, but no prizes, no discounts, no special treatment. And as a matter of fact, we really want you to make your own congratulations card and share it with us over on our Facebook group. Could you do that, please? We welcome you and congratulations to you all. Thank you so much for being a part of our craft roulette culture. Sending in all those projects week after week after week. Right, Patty Beck? Uh, production so cool. note, thank you to Tina Juan Kenobi, Sheila Richardson, Laura Hodges, Barb Thomas, and Kathy Day for additional super chats that we will be splitting with Kelly. So thank you, you so much. Are, you guys are something else. I had no idea this happened. This is a whole new world for me. Well, that was last week, Miss Kelly. Would you have liked those those parameters, do you think? Um, Include I action? Don't think it's really interesting to see the different ways that people take the inspirations um because like create movement i automatically went to like action wobbler mm -hmm. but they had like a river in there they had a runner in there like those are things i would not have thought of but that's super fun yeah um, the northern lights combination is fantastic and also i would just like to say um that Carrie is the design team manager for Trinity, who I also work with, and her um, her card was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, she used mica spray to paint it, so you couldn't really see how pretty it was. But um, yeah, she did, and she did a shaker. Yes. So that included action. Yeah, she's something. Right. She's a great, a great crafter. She really is a craftette. Yeah. Well, those are good observations, and I can't wait now to see what we're going to get this week. So, bring on the wheel, Mr. Producer. <laughs> there are the project colors element and random that we're going to be spinning for. Before we spin, we're going to tell you, though, that our members have vetoed four of those parameters, and that means if we land on that vetoed parameter, we will spin again. The wheel cannot make us use that. Most likely you'll be able to use that, but um, the wheel will not make us be able to use it and we will just spin again for something else. And the members vetoed this week. For project, what did they say no to? Six by six card? Oh, birthday card, guest choice, or hello? Well, they really don't want a six by six card, Chris. Did you explain how vetoes work? Completely? I did. Okay. I did. I did. You were busy looking at something else. Yeah, I was fielding questions in the chat. So I'm, <laughs> I'm with them on the six by six card, though. So I'm. That's great. Yep. Yep. There's a special person that makes a six by six card. Now, do you know that we have an A nine card on here? What? Yeah. What is an 89 card? <laughs> That's even bigger. It is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper folded in half. Think about that when you're choosing a veto. For <laughs> look at that expression. For color, what would the members not want this week? Summer, cereal box, tropics, or kites in the sky? Oh, by a long shot, they said no to cereal box. So that means if we land on cereal boxes number, which I'm not sure what it is, it's four. We will spin again for a different color palette. For element, what did they say? Oh, no, thank you, to Houses, containers, rhymes with eek, or house pets. Rhymes with eek is out. We won't be doing rhymes with eek.
tonight. But if you want to have something that has a squeak, there's probably a way for you to fit it in. So for random, so far you guys have been very, very profound, very decisive on what you say no to. This one's not quite as close. Charms you do not want for your random veto. You vetoed that over mixed media, geometric shapes, and something from your floor. Now, Kelly and I were talking about something from your floor before the show. She said, bring it. What do you want? Yeah, that I got it not all. a problem. <laughs> do you want some dice scraps? Do you want this? Do you want that? So you... you feel like you would I be ready. I could close my eyes, reach down, and find something usable on my floor. <laughs> <laughs> so we are trying to help people understand that you don't have to be real tidy on, no. to be a crafter. And sometimes I think people feel bad because they maybe aren't real tidy and they're kind of ashamed of their mask. But, you know, I say I'm comfortable with it. But if you like it, it's fine. You can be, yeah, we're not going to tell yeah, you. Yeah, whatever no. way works for you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, now that we've got those vetoes out of the way, what would you like to veto if you do want to veto something? Um, Think carefully. You only get one. I, I'm going to go with, because I don't know what it is, I'm going to go with Dutch Door. Dutch Door. That is number 15. Okie doke. It's, it's a fun little fold. It's not hard. And maybe someday... It, you can look it up, but um, it's well, kind of Well, then you'd be giving me a tutorial on how to do it, Mary, because I don't even know what it is, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's fine. We don't have to know tonight, because you just be <laughs> it. Okay, so what were, where would you put your chips if you were at a roulette table? So I would be hoping for birthday card, birthday which card? is number 21. Uh-huh. I would be hoping for Rainbow, which is number nine. Uh huh. Single Flower, which is number three. Uh huh. And Sparkles, which is 14. 14, number 14, Sparkle. By the way, if you are Bitty Pennies watching, happy birthday to Sparkle Heart. We hope you're having a great, great celebration. Um, that is her daughter. So, and I think Sparkle reminded me that I think that's such a cute nickname, Sparkle Heart. So, okay, well, hopefully we can get at least one of those that you would like and maybe all four. <laughs> it would be the first time, but you never know. Let's give this guy a warm up. Anybody in the chat feeling anything? Are you feeling the Dutch door being glad about that? Or do you want a birthday card? Huh? No, no, this is the real one now. Project. <laughs> nah, that wasn't it. That was a warm up. For pro, oh, almost. For project, good tidings. We're going to talk about each and every one of these parameters in depth in just a minute, but get your thinking caps on, chatterbox. For colors, will we get rainbow? We got summer. Summer okay. colors. Okay, all right, I can work with that. Yes, I think you'll be fine. For element, you like bright colors, right? Generally. Yeah. And blue, you like blue. And 10, oh, this is a good one for you. Mechanics or mechanical. No, girl, that ain't good. That's, that's bad. That's very bad. <laughs> we are going to talk maybe a mechanical flower. And for random, Mr. Wheels got a sense of humor. Number 13, tie closed, almost sparkles. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't use sparkles. Oh, man. All right. Good tidings, summer. Good, good tidings. Good tidings. Well, okay, so let's talk about each and every one of these because some, we're not just going to, we're going to throw you in the deep end, but we're going to throw you in the deep end with some, some things to think about. Good tidings can be just about anything that's nice. It, it makes it sound like it's Christmas. Speech. Oh, my speech. I was so worried about her. I went right to the discussion. Here's my speech about your project because you guys can play along with us. We are not the only ones that get to do this fun stuff here. 
My speech includes, this is going to be our art project, this is going to be your art project. You get to decide how to make it, what to make it, and you just have to have those four parameters. We're all about seeing your artistic expression. If you saw the slideshow, you can see how many different styles and different ways that people take it. Um, we're not going to teach you anything here tonight. We're not going to be doing any kind of process. This is now what I'm using or anything, but we can, but we probably will do a lot more chatting than that. Uh, you can use make your project as clean and simple as you want or as interactive and as complicated as you love. It's all and anywhere in between. You can do it all. We just want to see what you guys come up with. You can um, have it very literal, like say, H-E-Y Google, what are some summer colors? And H-E-Y Google, because we don't want to set off anybody's machinery, um, would say, well, here's some samples of summer color palettes. And you can just draw from that. Here's, or, a, here's a beach with sun and blue sky. Yeah, oh, that sounds nice. And, um, or you can just take a couple colors from a palette that seems summery to you and use that. It's just whatever you want to do on your card. Um, we do, a, we do have crafters and craftettes of all ages. We have very young ones, uh, two very seasoned crafters and craftettes. We really appreciate that. We have all levels of ability and, and, um, have if they've done it a long time or if this is their first card we've had them all so we love to have you just do your very best don't worry about the other people because there's always going to be something that we can learn and enjoy about what you make um you got to include those four parameters they can be the focal point or you can kind of sneak them in and that needs to be handcrafted and family friendly so i don't get embarrassed and i get embarrassed easily so that's that's my speech. Now let's talk about these things. You had a minute to think about glad good tidings. Is it scaring you still, or are you thinking she's already working on it? <laughs> but anyway, good tidings could be a birthday card. I hope you have a happy birthday. That's a this that's might a good be tidings. one of the ones where we might want to start with something that's the most troubling, and then what is the most troubling? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't know. <laughs> Let me guess. Um, is mechanical something that's kind of okay. giving you a, a cramp in the side? So I already, I have some thoughts. Okay. Because I think a lot of the stuff that were used in action could uh -huh. be used again. Something that is like oh. a wobbler could be oh. used as a mechanic. A mechanic being something that moves. Uh, that's a really good or idea. even if you want something to get that moves. that's a great idea. something that moves is a great idea. Steven I got some more I got <laughs> some more because I also think of my mom's mechanical dye machine that she has oh. and so you, if you're integrating a mechanical dye machine that could also count so you could you could very you could move away from mechanics if you wanted and integrate mechanics a different way I just wanted to get that out there before we talked about the other ones, because... I'm also seeing things, uh, Michelle Lupton saying anything with wheels on it, like a bicycle. Uh, Tracy Fear said the laundry dies from Trinity, the spin cycle dies that is in craft roulette inspired. Um, a anything misty is a that's mechanical funny, thing? because I immediately went to, um, Trinity just came out with a washing machine. Yeah. It's a craft. That's they what have. I immediately went to, but I like the uh, the action wobbler. I'm here. That's I'm here for the action too. wobbler. Then there's of course the the very beloved robots, which also Trinity has a new die set for robots. Carrie Rhodes is saying they, robots, they do. mechanical pencils, mm, just to do, use it. Some gears, um. That's yeah, gears. If you want to do steampunk, watches have mechanics in them, scooters, robots, um, pull tab, a mechanic, simple yeah, machines. Yeah, you can build the, build the mechanics into the paper. Mm hmm. So, mm -hmm. any type of uh, any of those uh, Karen Berniston dies yeah. would be all very those interactive mechanical. dies. And thanks to Ellen Jarvis for the donation she put in. So, is Mr. Uh, Jarvis doing all right? He had some little surgery today 
Um, so anything, any kind of stamp set or die set that you have that's a car or has a car in it, uh, motorcycles, trucks, all those kind of things you can use. So those all have mechanical components to them. See, this isn't hard. We've got this already now, figured out. But now that plays into the good tidings part. <laughs> yeah. So if you have that kind of figured out, now we can talk about good tidings. Yeah, Santa's sleigh. Um, no, it, but good tidings immediately makes me think Christmas. But it doesn't have to be that, especially since we have summer colors. So any kind of well-wishing is a good tiding, I think. What do you think, Kelly? She's way in thought. Do you think um, any kind of, like, happy birthday is a good tiding, thinking of you, wishing you well, congratulations? Yeah, I mean, I think any kind of well wishes would fit, no? Yeah, any, yeah. you just wouldn't want it. We wouldn't expect things like, so you're, so you're in so is your aunt eunice <laughs> you wouldn't expect something snarky so a good tidying would be any kind of happy message yeah i think so too i'm, I'm still Kelly. with you i'm just gathering <laughs> wool over here <laughs> and then we have summer colors and like i said you can go to hey google and get some color summer color palettes make them work with whatever mechanical yeah, kind of good. ways that you that. decide to use that will work well um so oh you're watching the Phillies game he's doing fine good way to go and then tie clothes so whatever you're gonna have something on your card actually it doesn't have to be a card because it just says good tidings it doesn't have to be a card at all but it can be um you just have to have it something tie clothes now that means that it could even be like a bow that you draw on or a stamp set or something that has a tie on it. Um, you doesn't have to physically tie clothes, but you could. You a could have a of belly some band. Sort. A ribbon would be perfect. Some baker's twine tying some with the image of it being tied clothes. A a gift or something would be, just be fine. A gift with a little mechanical robot in it. That would All be right. Cool. I'm I'm She's well into it. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking. <laughs> we can see. We can we can very Mechanic well tell that you're definitely thinking. leave me out there for for the beginning. I think she's gonna put her mind to good use. You guys have given us some good ideas. Oh, a balloon clothes. That's a good idea, Michelle. So Let me check out a balloon. You could have the twine tying the balloon clothes with a little robot on a balloon. That would be cute, actually. Just High clothes and the yellow work envelope. Circles yeah. string. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, you, everybody else besides Kelly and moi has until Sunday night to get their card in unless you're a member and then you have till Thursday night. So, oh, Libby, God bless you, honey. Your faith in me. <laughs> I love you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> she says you're going to create magic. And I think you, I think you're going to just do fine. <laughs> <laughs> the purse so card's looking pretty good about some, now. <laughs> summer colors. That's that's the, the that's cake. easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have a couple that are pretty I feel easy. Like it's not bad. The tie clothes. Could you Ugh. put? I mean, you can put a bow on something. I could not like. I mean, I could not like that less, Mary. Oh, really? Really. <laughs> Well, <laughs> would tie one off be tie closed? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a lot of options for tie and things, so we're, we might have to get a little creative there. I bet we'll do it then. I know we will. Yeah, our, the balloon thing. Be um, a present. A present. An image of a present with a ribbon on top. Tie a horse's saddle. That sounds good, hat trick. Tie the card clothes. Yeah, just put the whole, put a, <laughs> make a tie all the way around a, a yeah, gatefold card or something and tie it closed that way. Do the whole thing or a corset, something along these lines. All right, shoes tie clothes. That's a good one, Luann. What? Yep, or a flower, a bouquet, the, the tie ultimate, in a race. The ultimate hack to get the 
the stinker parameter in is to put it on the oh inside my God, or back. Y'all, we yep. got so many. Yeah. <laughs> She's so boxes weird. of things. I wish she was would have gotten something from her floor. It, actually, that may have been even worse because it might be so much that you could choose from. Well, I tell you what, we're going to break here for a few minutes while you get to know, learn about our other show and our die set and, and stamp set and other gnarly things. We'll be right back ready to craft. Hope you will join. stay tuned and Kelly is going to come up with something brilliant. Let's give her a little minute, shall we? Well done, Chatterbox. Does card making ever wear you out? Are you just having one of those days? Do you ever say to yourself, I wish there were more craft roulette on each week? Well, have we got good news for you? In Review is like part two of Craft Roulette, which features you, our card contributors. It'll be easy to find because it airs here on our Craft Roulette YouTube channel. We go live almost every Tuesday evening at 6.30 p.m. Central, and we do a number of fun things during the show, including Mail Call, where I share some of the nice cards and goodies people send us. Our card showcase, where we take a longer look at some of the contributions sent in from the most recent episode. And our Who Done It Mystery Game, where I recreate a card from the most recent episode's gallery, live on air. Everyone in the live chat gets to try and figure out which card I'm recreating. So, if you want more of what we do on Craft Roulette, you'll love our show in review. The Who Done It Mystery Game is just a game and we do not actually solve mysteries, but we do actually solve mysteries. The show is supposed to be on Tuesdays, but we reserve the right to reschedule as necessary. Mary will not always know what she is doing, especially with buttons and or math. Stretchy pants and snacks are not required, but advisable. Please bring a friend. Too much fun for one person included. Hey, Cool Mary here. You might remember me from my breakthrough role, the In Review infomercial. While normal me and the special guest are gathering their supplies, let me take this opportunity to tell you about our stamp set, our die set. Whoa. Let me, Cool Mary, Show you what you can do with them. Tubular. Yes, you can order these off our web shop. Every purchase helps support our shows, and in return, you can be like me. Cool Merit. Well, she didn't run off. I know she's still here. <laughs> so that's good. That's good. And she's even got a plan. So um, I think we're going to bring her on here pretty quick. What I decided to do was I have just some pieces cut from my doodle car, which is a craft roulette inspired die set by Trinity. 
And um, so I'm going to make a, a car because that's very mechanical. And um, I know this car, this crazy little car, has my robot in it. So I may make another card with my robot driving, but I won't use these. But it may be something along those lines. So, and I did pull out a robot that um, is also a Craft Roulette inspired die set. So if I have a lot of time, I might make two. So there. All right, let's bring <laughs> Kelly back. Here she comes. All right. There the it is. Here, the irony here is that I uh, 110% pulled out the same die. You did? The cars? Oh, the cars? The cars. Well. Yeah. That will be a weird thing. We've never had both of us making the same thing. I think it's okay. I don't think we're going to make the same thing, though. No, we won't. We won't. So, so I'm just going to dump my pieces. I have, I just started doing this where I just thought, because I thought maybe someday I'll get something on the wheel that I could use one of these die sets for. So I cut a bunch and it's a mess. I, I but, think I'm um, going to. I didn't know I was going to get summer, for instance. So I think that'll be fun. So what what colors did you decide on? Um, I'm still working that out. I got an idea in my head for how this is going to go, but I'm not making, <laughs> I'm not yeah. making the same thing that they want me to make. I'm making something a little different. Okay. So I need the wheels. That'll be fun. I kind of like black car with some, some stars on it. This you know, if you did look at this from the front view and then put one of the wheels in the window, it would look almost like the front view of a car. I didn't really did I just break my... I did. You know? Sure enough, I just broke my nail trying to get my <laughs> die out of the <laughs> packaging. Oh, no. Oh, oh, well, we'll be fixing that later. No oh dear. Do you have fancy nails? You probably you might have fancy nails. Do you have my no nails? mine are my natural nails? They're just always painted oh. something. All right. So oh, let's maybe some see. go gold wheels. That might be kind of groovy. I think we're gonna go white. I think we're gonna go white. I might be pretty blinged out here myself. So So when you make this, I'm wondering, I think I made them backwards before. Did I? You think you made it backwards before? Well, maybe I didn't. See, they've got the little chairs in here. So this is like the driver's seat. I guess so. I did it right. Or yeah. the way it did was I pull intended. Did I little chairs? I think I did. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yes, I did. Okay. And then these are the wheels. So for the wheels, I obviously need black. No, I'm going gold. You don't have to. You can. You can. <laughs> yeah. Of course, it would make more sense. But look at these gold wheels, Kelly. Can you see those? Those look pretty good. They are very fancy. They are very fancy. I need some summer is... colors for something that will look lovely with that yellow. I'm going to do a gatefold, and then I'm going to do a belly band with my car on it. That is going to be the thing. We... Do I need to back up here? Am I too close to my desk? Is it hard to see? It's our connection more than how close you are, I think. Do I need to back this guy up? You could back up a little bit. Let's see if we can. Wow, well, look at this paper. It's like has glad tidings you all over it for Christmassy in. stuff. But oh, I'm going to use this up. side. Oops, I made that a little short. We're hoping for the best with this internet, but we're having a little little um, interface with our friend Eunice, I'm afraid. She'll be back. Yeah, that looks summery, don't you think? Even though it's a Christmas paper, I think it looks summery. And then we can put, yeah, 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 we're going to be fine here. And I will, you know, I might make a, I wonder, hmm. <laughs> Have you ever heard a brain that changes thoughts so fast? Um, 
I'm thinking maybe instead of a tie, instead of a belly band, I do something like on a on a mat, and then the mat is a tag or something, and it ties to this side to open it. Because it's mechanical, so it's okay that you do something a little fancy, right? I think so. <laughs> Maybe she did run. Maybe she took that. I don't think so. I think she's much more of a player than, than running away. <laughs> yes, it does look 4th of July-ish, cat. Even though it's Christmas paper. But Michelle Lupton has Christmas in in the summer. <laughs> oh, that works. Oh, poor Kelly. Yep, just waiting to see if she pops back in the calls. She can't hear us talk, so she has to know that. Uh oh. You know. I have something under here. There we go. Oh, gosh. Treasures. Untold. Okay, so what was I, what are my grand thoughts? So then oh. do I do? <laughs> I think we're back. I think she's coming in. <laughs> she's going to move this thing and then y'all were gone. Oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. Well, you made it back. You've passed that test. Why is it shaking though? Uh, I might be trying to focus. I'm... I'm it's about to got a do a couple beat. things. It's got a heartbeat. It's coming oh, off. No, it doesn't like my desk. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, that's a first one. <laughs> did it figure oh, it out? I think so. Oh, my goodness. That was not good. Okay. That was weird. I mean, never yeah, it was beat. definitely weird. Here's hoping. Hmm. So, <laughs> so are we done with that kind of stuff right now you think i yeah i hope so <laughs> so in your old dispatch days somebody could have i could have called in and said oh my gosh her internet her project is coming alive her non-living <laughs> mechanical project is coming alive what do i do <laughs> And you would oh say, ma'am, what are you drinking? Yeah. Well, you can't really say that, but <laughs> yes, you do think it sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, there is a guy that does um, comedy based on ER expense experiences. Uh, do you know if there's any kind of comedy involved with? Dispatch. If I do, I know if there's any kind of what? I'm sorry. Comedy. Anybody on YouTube that does dispatch comedy? Oh, I there's have like, no idea. There's like one for everything. There's one that, um, there's one that's a motel clerk. There's this ER nurse and they're doing all the weird stuff that happens to them in a, in a day. Yeah, you probably day won't day. see that for dispatch because... Uh, yeah, because we can't yeah. tell people. <laughs> right. We have to. We have to keep all that information a secret. Yeah. Yeah, because of yeah, legal reasons. You're right. You're right. That makes We're complete go sense. Yeah, it's gonna. It's Susan, yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna, gonna be interesting. interesting. We're having some. We're having some. Interesting thought. Interesting thought. Um, nope. Audio. Uh, nope. Audio. Nope. Going okay. Nope. I'm, maybe I'm just. Maybe I'm. It. No. It's... Everybody gets. Are we it? good? Is it dad? Check. Check. I think we're good. I can hear I you. Have... Can you hear me? Yep. Uh, we were just getting our audio back to ourselves. I had to toggle the echo cancellation on and off a couple times to get it to actually work. So I think we're we are in a decently stable spot right now. <laughs> so I'm going to take a breath. And wait for it to break. Shoo. Okay. Shoo, shoo. Goodness right. gracious. Well, we had a long run of no big deals going on, so it's good to have some refresher course on problems. 
Maybe. Not really. Maybe. Anyway, that looks like a pretty little summery flower. We're going to put that in there. Yes, it turns out with the mechanics, if you're just coming in, we are here with Kelly Taylor. She's a nice lady. She's a player. She, we got these parameters that we're going to work with. Good tidings for our proje <laughs> project. <laughs> Summer for colors, mechanics or mechanical for element, and tied or tie closed. And if you didn't see Kelly's face... When we got <laughs> when we got these spins, you might want to go back. It was a kind of a mix between horror. Why did I put that down? Horror and you've got to be kidding me. I can do this, but you've got to be kidding me. How are you feeling about it now? Uh, you might be... How am I feeling about the parameters now? Uh huh. Still, still not, still not good, Mary. <laughs> I thought maybe you were starting to embrace them. No, no, ma'am. No, no. Darn. Yeah, do you think, no, no, ma'am. Do you think you're, are you feeling pretty confident in your card? Uh, I think I have a solid idea. There you go. That's good. So, I think I have a solid idea. That's good. It's right now, if you don't have a solid idea, it gets a little scary. So that's good. Because then you're starting to think, oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked by the. What do I do? We did everything in our dispatch center, general line 911, please dispatch fire and EMS. Yes, same. Mm. So when I originally got hired, which was 100 million years ago, because I'm a dinosaur, mm -hmm. um, I had three 911 lines, three non-emergency lines, my radio, and then fire and EMS. And it was just me. Oh. That's a heart stopper right there. And you went to work. <laughs> it wasn't like you just said, no, I don't think so. That sounds like a oh, yeah, hard yeah, day. Yeah. And at the time, like when I first got hired, I was 20. I was like, what are they doing letting me? Oh, <laughs> like gosh. lives are literally in my hands. <laughs> oh, that's way young. Oh, you cut your eye teeth on it. And little stars would be summery. But summer is a color palette, not a thing. But a lot of times people put color palette and thing, the element together, and that's okay. As long as you include the element. And I'm just kind of looking around here. What this did I lose? Guy, I lost the dot. I lost the dot. I think we're, we're going to put roulette in the driver's seat. So are you going to be able to use your coloring skills or no? Um... <laughs> <laughs> who knows <laughs> we don't even know what we have going on here yet okay all right so this is hold on let me go back I well, you've got balloons to tie i have to ask though did your dispatch stress training prepare you adequately for getting mechanisms or mechanical <laughs> on craft roulette episode 2211 <laughs> um absolutely not no no, sir. All right, I got to cut another one. I, oh, I hate dyes. <laughs> <laughs> so you never got the dispatch call that said, I got to make this card. I'm. We've never had anybody call 911 for one of our card parameters. I've got to make this card, and I'm live on YouTube, and it's got to have good tidings. Summer colors, mechanics, mechanical element, and tie clothes. What do I do, dispatch? Yeah, really, what do I do? <laughs> I'm literally just pulling colors out of my scrap pile that seem like they'd be summer. There you go. How do you usually decide your colors? Uh, usually, <laughs> usually I do a little like better this? job of looking at the, um, uh, the color wheel and trying to find something that goes together. But I feel like we're doing okay. Well, it looks summery to me. You've got... Uh... Yellow, a gold yellow, a red, a pretty blue. Those look summery. 
They don't have to have all the summer colors, just color, summer color inspired. Okay, so do you like this better than the colors you got last time? Because you could probably use those if you wanted to. And just as a reminder, you got red, yellow, and violet. Uh, no, I, I I vividly remember what I got, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I also had to use a tag. Another thing that I abhor. Yeah, and yet you're back again. <laughs> However, it did take you two years. It did, see? I was like, nah, she's not going to get me again. <laughs> it's like childbirth around here. Eventually, you forget. And you come back. No, that's good. I'm glad you did. So if I do... So like I gotta that. do my do balloons. I... I gotta do my wheels. Tie it down. I could. I gotta do my seats. Do I want to make a loop so that would be tied down, and then you slip the car in it? Or do I put oh this what on a even magnet and put I... two slips? That would be fancy. It may be too fancy. So that you have two. Hmm, it's worth a try. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, I'm going to attempt something that I have never attempted. I know, Mr. Producer, I say never do this. But I think it's not going to be big a deal. Unless I knock everything over. <laughs> Oh, Libby Hickson, well, you will have to just use those dies and make a card. And I hope that Amanda Stevens is having a great time at Bellacon. And those who won the Bellacon um, gift right, certificates, I hope you're having a good time. What the hell is this? Heck, what the heck is this? <laughs> it's the bumper. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of pieces. All right, this is the mirror. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't. What are you? Are you another seat? Are you a seat? The seats are, um, that's a seat, I think. That's a seat. I this is so. a bumper and this is a bumper, right? I think so. And, and I forgot seat. the bumpers on a couple of them. They were in some wrecks. Some accidents. So this is a seat. Had their bumpers ripped Here. off. Okay, this is going to have some mechanics involved in the card itself, especially since I just put the holes in the wrong place. They were supposed to be on this side, and this so is we'll just have to think of something else. That's okay. <laughs> See, my big thought was I was going to put these loops here. Maybe I could just loop it all over, tie it shut. And then this is the piece. For we the have a lot of think going, thinking going on here. It's too much thinking. <laughs> it's Friday night, man, and we are thinking like it's Monday afternoon. All right. So do you still so, pretty much have a Monday-Friday schedule now? Yeah, yeah, for the most part. Mm -hmm. I'm still... All right. Tie closed. Balloons. Sean, you know where I'm going. Girl, you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> All right. So I need the silver. Is your car going to be floating? Right. Being we'll pulled see. up by balloons? <laughs> um, this one, I need this one. I don't need this one. This one, I need out of the black again. Mary Youngblood's already done. Somebody's already done. We have two cards. Mary. Left. Girl. It's not this girl. Mm -mm, it's not this Mary. It's that speedster Mary. She just knocks him out. Yeah. See, that's going to be okay. That's going to be need my another tie show. I need another color for my balloon. Maybe a pale pink. I don't want to use two blue. Maybe a green. That's summery. 
What do I got in here? You do like blue, but I guess you can get too much. Yep, Susie, I'm thinking green too. I'll think it would work. Ooh, Lanny says the wheel was kind this week. Well, Lanny, what did you like about it? <laughs> Maybe we can be encouraged. I like it okay, too. Actually, I like what, it, what this is getting to be, so I'm okay. I'm a little worried about Kelly. Should we send her some hearts? <laughs> What do I got in here? Oops, no, that's too bright. It'll be fun to see what people do for mechanics. When I put it on, I was, I was kind of disguising robot. <laughs> so I will admit, I will admit, I was kind of sneaking it in there. So if you have been one of those craft roulette people that have been buying robots... For Robot Day, when it returned, now is your week. Go crazy. Oh, finally. Yes. <laughs> but mechanical and mechanics is not quite like a single flower. It's kind of the opposite. Choose Joy with Carmen says, I love this definition of mechanical. A completed assembly of artwork and copy Typically mounted on a sheet of stiff paper. Ooh, that is a good definition. Yeah, robot card. It's the it's your week, guys. For all of those who have become mug clubbers, get Roulette out. He's ready for you. He is there for you. He's a good robot. All right. She's Pink. still working so hard. It's a blue. She thinks a gold. There we go. There you go. So, Kelly, we have talked about this on the show before. There are two ways that some creative people come approach creativity. And one is the architect, and they plan, and they kind of have the whole picture, is right? Right. And then there's the gardener, and they just start out and let it kind of happen and figure it out and develop it as it goes along. Which camp do you feel like you fit better in? I would say 99% of the time, I am a, I see the whole picture in my head. Mm hmm. Yep. But sometimes. <laughs> Here's that 1%. <laughs> there is craft roulette, and then you just have to, you just got to roll with it. Yeah. Yeah. We're here for you. I'm going to go fix the submission form right now. I don't know why it's given that message, but I'll find out. I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> okay. We can't break anything, Kelly. All right, I'll do my, I'll do my best. <laughs> if there's any tech problems, I'm going to ask you. It's your turn. I will promptly not know how to fix that, Mary. <laughs> Isn't it awful? <laughs> uh, so your son, he's like in the generation that's been raised on screens. Is he pretty good at stuff like that? Figuring out what to do? Yes, he is. He tells me all the time, like, he wants to be a, a YouTuber. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> so, actually, it was a funny story that I told on my own YouTube channel. I thought I would, like, kind of show him by letting him edit one of my videos. Uh -huh. Like, you know, look, you can see how much work this is, like, behind the scenes. And then so he did, and he edited it very well. And then he was like, no, I really liked it. And I was like, well... <laughs> That did not work out how I had anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I did. Yeah, that happens sometimes. And you think, oh, for sure, this is great. This is a great idea. And then they backfire on you. 
So are you having him do most of your editing then, <laughs> if he likes it? Um, I you know, sheer volume. Made... But he definitely could do it in a pinch. Yeah. Sometimes sheer volume can be a deterrent. Doing something Monday through Friday. Whew. That's a whole other thing. Well, that's neat. And last time you were here, you were ex very, very much expecting your little baby girl. And she's two now. She is. Talking? Oh, yeah. A lot? Yeah. yeah. So much. <laughs> Never stops talking. And this is a little jabberwocky. That's cute. Artistic tendencies? Um, yeah, she, uh... She did a little cameo spot the one day because I was up here working and my husband was coming upstairs to change clothes and um, she followed him up here. So then we sat here together and mm -hmm. crafted while he changed clothes. Oh, cute. Oh, these don't touch. Okay. These don't touch. She a little different than your little boy was? Oh, yeah, she's way sassier. Oh. Way, way sassier. All right, so there's your little, my little car. There's a little right. girl and a little boy next door, and um, there's a lot of difference in those two. The little boy's out there tonight. He was just out kicking that soccer ball all around, and I looked out, and the little girl was just sitting in the grass. <laughs> Just like, I don't care about that at all. I'm going to have myself a little rest. Yeah, no, Caitlin is definitely, uh, <clears throat> she's still very active. Mm -hmm. She always wants to be doing what her brother's doing. <laughs> she will grow up fast with that big of brother. That's that. And then... <laughs> I need, I need the white walls. I got to die cut it again. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Well, so far, I think I have all the pieces. I just cut a bunch out a couple of weeks ago. So I don't, I think I have all the pieces, but we'll see. I don't have to have them all either. We can have kind of a rent a relic. Rent a wreck. There's a place around here that you can rent a wreck. A little bit. There we go. I kind of wish I had some blue skies in there, but that's okay. Uh, just updated some code on the website. It is recompiling and should be good to go in about two minutes. I'll check it. Good. Hope it works. Yeah, we've been having a huge migration from Patreon to uh, our own site, and it is a complicated thing. Well, I'm also adding a bunch of stuff too. Yeah, that's I'm true. I'm making it more complicated, but. We could make it simple, but there's no fun in that. Not enough fun, at least. I think that's going to be fine. I think we'll stick this down. If the glue starts. So Kathy Day would like to know, what was it like being a 911 dispatch? Did you have, like, lots of calls at one time, or did they... Did they tend to come in at certain times of day or night? You've worked both nights and day. To me? Yeah. Yes, I did. I worked, well, mostly I was on afternoon shift before I had kids. Uh -huh. And then once I had children, I switched to night shift. I was on night shift for years. And then um, I was, I switched jobs. I was a case manager for the detective bureau. And then I... Um, went back to dispatching and then I was back on nights and then now I do now I do this yeah <laughs> no. yeah your first week of doing nothing but crafts what'd you think was it like it's very did, bizarre uh-huh having your own setting your own schedule was that difficult? Yes. Well, like, I mean, because I still have to get up in the morning and get my kids to school and, 
right. you know, all of those things. So then I just come home instead of going to work. Yep. All right. I need a. Oh. Let's see. We've got some lights to do back here. What shall we do? What shall we do? I have some black ones. Would there be, you could have a star back there. Everybody's going to put a star back there for his little light because those lights are so extravagant anymore. Back lights. We'll just catch on with the trend. So what, on crafting, what do you think is trending and that you like? Oh, I think dyes are super trendy right now. Mm hmm Yeah, dyes are, dyes are where it's at for almost all of these um, companies. Dyes are just more popular. I think uh, coloring stencils are huge right now. Yeah. Yeah, they People are. People seem to be loving the stencils. How many layers of stencils have you done so far? Like 10, five? Um, I haven't really, I mean, I use them occasionally, but because I'm a colorist, I don't tend to use the stencils as much. Oh, okay. I need Fair enough. We'll go with all right. Let's see. I need my good tidings <laughs> to you wherever you are. I'm just going to bring in a sentiment now. That is unusual. We don't usually have the project be so tightly interwoven with a sentiment unusual will i even be able to find any of this stuff after this show is over mary <laughs> i could not tell you but i have a hunch just by that question that you won't feeling that right there i usually don't clean my mask until friday and then I just use the same things that have been out all week. Over and over again. We want a little badge on there for dispatch. Did you if ever you get were to talking drive? To me, you have to ask me that question again. I'm sorry. No, no. I was just kind of talking out loud to myself. Did you ever get to drive a squad car? Um, Turn on. I <laughs> or turn on the lights and siren? I, well, I mean, I guess technically a detective car, but not black and white. Ah, uh, well, that's pretty good. Do they have sirens that you could turn on? They do. Was they it, do. Did you feel like you wanted to do that? No. <laughs> no, I did not. I rode in a squad car once, and it wasn't because I was getting arrested. It was because my car broke down on the highway, and a squad and a highway patrol guy, nice guy, came and got us. And my daughters were in the back seat. They were young. And um, we got to ride to, the, to a hotel. <laughs> but I felt like, oh, it was a weird ride. I mean, he was talking on the little radio about us using code. <laughs> so do you have code yeah, in your house? Like, yeah. Do you have well, codes that you come up so with? It's so funny because like I, I worked in Ohio. I worked for the Ohio State Highway Patrol uh -huh. and they do use a lot of codes. But most local police departments, like most city agencies, don't. They just use plain language. <laughs> well, it was like a zero zero one or something. And it's zero, 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 z
Well, no, oh, it was probably the time. Me? I thought it was the passengers. Like, I got a No, zero, it was zero, probably one. the time because, <laughs> so, like, oh, what is it right now? It's almost I have a crazy, crazy thing. So, everything's a military time. So, if, like, for me, it's 8.50. That would be 20, 22, no, 21.50 hours. Yeah. And then yeah. you would, so they would give your, like, the officers would give their mileage. Like, let's say, like, you know, starting at, oh. uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. 225 like that's like you know starting mileage is 225 and then the dispatcher would respond at 2150 hours and the reason that they do that is to so that way it's logged the amount of Mm -hmm. time that you're in the car because people like to accuse police officers of doing things that they didn't do and so your your time is done okay well yeah he said this is being recorded he did tell me that it was being recorded my daughters, I'd look in the back seat, and they were just like Hi, big baby. eyes. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Are you sad you old tonight? Oh, she's sad. Can you hear her? She's crying and saying, does she want to say hi? Oh, this is, this is pretty sad. Is that okay? Okay, I love you, and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, I love you. I love you, and a sweet dream. We love I'll you, too. You we love you, too, a little bit. <laughs> sorry, she... My husband's like, sorry, she escaped. <laughs> well, she's out of love. She needed to see her mama. Yes, it's okay. Okay. But yeah, so that that's why they give you the time. So that way they know how long you're in the vehicle for. That makes sense. Yeah, and how far you traveled. Mm-hmm. So all right. I think I have my what am I looking for? I need that tree. What is that thing called? Is Carrie still in here? Carrie, what's that thing called? With the <laughs> drifts and hills, hills and drifts? What is that called? What is it? <laughs> Describe that again, please. Ooh, Amy Prather Smith. That sounds exciting. Being in a police cruiser with the lights and sirens on. Oh man. Oh, so many guys. That's not a. I'm just going to keep great going. Thing. Just keep going. I think we might just spruce this up with these cute little things. I don't know where the bumpers are, so this car is going to be a trash. It's a trasher. Did I not cut bumpers? I get a little confused with all these pieces, Kelly. Uh, Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of fun. I still like the look. Those boots and that card that you made with the flowers and the boots, that was really cute. And those were dyes. Oh, yeah, that was honeybee. That's such a fun dye. Mm-hmm. It was really pretty. Very summery. Oh, and I'm it's kind of like, you know, when you're um when you're coloring a dye, isn't it kind of like just starting with a a base color and then you just, just kind of I like usually color do all tea. of my dyes in white because I like adding my own oh, shading. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. But, um, yeah, you can definitely customize. I mean, that's I'm doing a base color tonight to save time. Yeah. Yeah. So you can get off faster. <laughs> I don't think she heard me. <laughs> I did not hear you. What did you say? I said, so you can get off faster? No, just because if you have to wait <laughs> for me to color all of these and die cut them, yeah. girl, we're going to see your grandbaby in college. Like... <laughs> we don't want that. That's way too long. No, you're good. Okay, so if, where is something that's a good tidying? Am I a genius like that? I bet you I did. I pulled you it did? out. I knew that was the one I was going to use. And then I think Caitlin started crying at the door and I just threw it back into the socks. Why would I do that? 
<laughs> she's looking for something. She, she's not crafting off screen. Don't worry. Sending hugs. Is that a good tidying? No. Okay. Doesn't make any sense with a car. But right. I'm gonna scoot this. Coming little. your coming way. Your way. Coming, coming your way. I'm gonna scoot this little guy over. Ooh. We should have him in a parade. Yeah, he could be in a parade. Yasmina. That's cute. Coming your way. And then the next part can be a good tiding. Do you think we'll get some Christmas cards this week? I bet we do. But with summer colors. But summer colors could be green and red. I, <laughs> you guys are all very creative. <laughs> not if it? you ask me. <laughs> I am firmly in the camp of summer color or uh, Christmas. I use green and red together <laughs> when I'm making a Christmas card. No sneaking in some blues and purples. Two. Day, I used our connection uh, leveled out a bit, so I turned up your quality, and it's looking good. It does look oh, good. good. Maybe we'll just have hugs coming your way, and then I can have hugs up here. Where's my adhesive eraser? What's the um? What's the best? What's your favorite tool? Since it's just you're not a die. You don't love the dies. A lot of people say die cutting die. is a big a favorite tool. Um, Misty is always a good tool for Misty somebody. Misty is a great tool. Mm -hmm. um, for Copic coloring, what would you say is one of the best things? Oh, did I just go out? No, you're fine. My back. You're you're good. You're good. Okay. Um, I don't know that Copic color, I mean, Copic, Copics are the tool. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing that you do in addition to that. You just use the Copics. Yeah. I favorite mean, black, favorite black ink with them. Oh, Hero Arts. Intense black. <clears throat> I think that's like the, the black question is always, the black ink question is always perennial it's just never yeah everybody's away. got their their specifics that they prefer there we go except i put these holes in it all right but... we're gonna do a little bit of green on the bottom that's my tied uh, tied clothes just that this is tied clothes it isn't tying anything clothes it's just that this is tied clothes the loop is tied yeah it's just not tying anything, anything it's on the self. card. Yeah, it's just. Uh, I'm going to say that counts. I think it does. Thank you. There. Don't mess with it. I think it's good. I think I'll put this guy somewhere. So these Here, are the cards that I made with that die before. This is big number of quattro. They're fun because you can make them do all sorts of things. You can have you can have gnomes driving them and robots driving them, and you could even put a small picture of yourself driving them. Okay. All sorts of good stuff. We're gonna do like a little roadway. Thank you, here. Vicky Jensen. Okay, next I'm gonna do another one. This guy needs a purpose. And the, okay, so project. You can use any card shape you want. And if you want to make a Dutch door, you could. Ha-ha. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to Google it after we're done here. Like, I literally have never heard of that. Red and green are summer colors. Dawn, you, no, ma'am. All right, that's okay. gonna be my I've, always, I've always said puns are on the table, Ellen. You know that. <laughs> she said good tidings, as in tide. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, oh, girl. You were in the hospital all day with your husband. You could make it an A9, Rosie Rose, C42. You could, right, absolutely. Fit on here before That's true. Oh, no, no, Except no, no, no. Usually, I think you can do it tw both ways or one way. Little so if he's going to be, he's cute. You're a cute little guy. I just love you. So Kathy Day also asked about the dispatch job. So it's not much like a TV show dispatch? <laughs> no. No, ma'am. Where do they go wrong? They, well, I shouldn't say that. It's not that, like, what they're doing is inaccurate, but they're acting like it happens all of the time. And 99% of the time, we're all just sitting around, entering tickets, entering warrants, <laughs> doing busy work, and then something pops off maybe, you know, once every couple weeks, like, where it's real dramatic like that. They act like oh. it's every shift. It's, it ain't. Yeah. So I think, can I make this work on an A2? I think I can. It's going to be a little cramped, but it'll be all right. Yeah. It'll be full. It will be full. It will be very full. My, no, my car's got to come up. Someone uh, said this earlier, and I it was too crazy to say anything, but uh, good tidings, as in like a, a tide... Uh, on a beach. Oh my gosh! Oh, did not think of that. Right? Very clever. Oh, yeah, puns you are a great way are to uh, so good to guys. approach things here. You can get more mileage. And if you want to do the washing machine die, that is so cute. <laughs> you could <pods>. use Tide. <laughs> Just make it Tide Pods. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going to get three in there. I might just get three. It's looking mighty cute. I might. You, it might do you just like be three? Do you like the parameters better now? Not yet? Uh, no, 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 ma'am. <laughs> Are you going to hold a grudge? Yeah. Against these, um, per, up against Mr. Wheel. Me and Mr. Wheel are just not, we're frenemies. <laughs> he always doing me dirty. He just wants to stretch you. He knows you can do outstanding things without much help. I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> He may just be spiteful. I don't know. Should put it. Should put it. If we were going to put him in the in a police code, we're going to put him in a a lockdown. I don't know what we'd call it. A seven eleven. What is it? A forty one forty. I was a forty one forty would work, or a seven point one nine. Yeah, that's all tough. All tough stuff. We're talking there. <laughs> So Colleen Berg asks, what inspires you to make a card? Is it the techniques or colors, um, specific um, inks? Is it textures, specific theme, mentors, work meeting with other crafters? Yeah, it can be lots of things. Mm -hmm. It just depends on... Um, like, you know, oftentimes, because I do work with a lot of different companies, it's the products themselves. Right. Right. And so when you get a new product, um, you find that something that you have made recently is kind of an inspiration and you just do a an adaptation of it or something that you since you have a lot of things on the floor some 
do you also have a lot of things that are that's kept out on your desk? Oh my gosh, my desk is the disaster area <laughs> right now. <laughs> Absolute disaster so do area. You, <laughs> do you find inspiration of the things that are left on your mask, as we call it, mask, a messy desk? Um, no, because usually I have to clean up. I am not used Vicky. No, this I know it's hard to see, but this is actually hot pink. It's not red. I oh. would never. <laughs> never, never, never. Never. I would never. So do you like to clean, do you like to make cards out of stuff that's left on your on your mask? Like, do you make cleanup cards or do you start afresh? Um, no, not usually. Like, usually there isn't anything left over um, from, like, my card, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I go in with a very specific idea because I'm not a a gardener as you put it right right <laughs> i go in with a very specific idea and so i don't have a lot of um leftovers hmm. all right i think this will work okay let's start putting this thing together i have to set these up here before i lose them because the, the stamps are very tiny come here little car but but beep beep Oh, he's kind of cute. I think that's a little big tree. I will definitely need my tweezers and my... There we go. Yeah, Dawn, for those of you who don't know, like my crafty BFF is Dawn. She's <laughs> she's wonderfully supporting me in the uh, comments. Aww, but she so and nice. I sometimes will, you know, because we both do this for a living. So mm -hmm. we'll work um, on like FaceTime mm -hmm. so that we have coworkers and we have somebody to chat with. Yeah. And um, we're totally different in the way that we execute things. Like she is very much a gardener, gardener? as, you, as mm -hmm. you put it. So it's, but it is very, very nice to have somebody to like, you know, we bounce ideas off each other. Mm -hmm. That part is very nice. Well, Dawn, we're glad you're here. Thanks for giving her a, some moral support. That's important. Both here and off screen as well. I think that's a little too close. There we go. I can't have this glued down because then it wouldn't work. Or I could have glued that onto the tree, but then it would have been heavy. Ah, the problems they have in life. I cannot believe you have made two cards. Well, you know what, Kelly? I have done this a lot. Cut this. <laughs> I already have these things die cut. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I feel less bad now. Yeah, I already had them die cut. I just dumped out a bag. So, no, don't feel bad. I'm having fun. Don't worry. I can entertain myself very, very well right here at this desk. And do frequently. Have you gone to any conventions or anything this spring? There's been several. Um, I have not. I went to um, Crop on the Cape. Right. Um, in the end of March. Um, which was nice. I but I was there teaching. Mm -hmm. And then um at the end of May, beginning of June, I'm teaching at the Nashville Craft Retreat. Oh nice. Erin yeah, is so sponsored before. Yeah, Erin is wonderful. She's super uh -huh. kind. 
and mm. Jen Shirkus is from the uh, Crap on the Cape, and she is great as well. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you're getting out and about a little bit. That's good. That's fun. <laughs> it is good. Um, it's a little troublesome for my travel anxiety, but we we made it through. Yeah. Yeah, traveling isn't fun as much fun as it used to be, I don't think. But say lovey. I was watching something uh YouTube <laughs> something on YouTube um the other day about the golden age of airline air travel and how it was very regulated and so the way they would get you to be part of their take their airlines instead of somebody else's was to have these <laughs> lounges and great meals and beautiful oh, yeah, that's stewardess gone. and that is yeah that's like history total history now there's the only good... thing I look for is whoever has a nonstop flight. Yeah, <laughs> right. there's lounges now, but they're more connected to like the, credit it... cards. <laughs> if you have a certain level of credit card, you get access to lounges and stuff. But but it was in the plane. Oh right. Yeah. yeah. Now they can't spare four inches. No, and they were talking about how large the seating room and everything was in their place. There were some airlines that had berths, like on a train used to have sleeping berth so you could actually have a little place to lie down and sleep yeah that, that exists now uh, but those things cost tens yeah. of thousands of dollars for long flights yeah business class or whatever and then after I saw that I saw the history of food guy and he was talking he used some of the same he was made a pot roast out of united maybe united's cookbook from the 1950s because that was one of their first class meals or something <laughs> it was real that's so funny like every, yeah it really was what well, there you go now what can he say i don't want to stamp <laughs> Sending, well, some kind of good hug, good tidings. <laughs> Paula Rice has a, a fun question. Maybe, I don't know. But she says, what is the hardest card pr making product that you've ever had to use? The hardest card making, card -making product, product I've ever had to use. Something that was... Besides um, craft roulette. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, like I said, have worked for, I've been blessed to work with a lot of different companies. And um, when you work for different companies, sometimes you get a signed product, you know, because they want everything to be um represented you know when the release comes out so you you may get some assignments kind of thing mm -hmm. and um those are always the hardest for me mm. when i don't get to pick what i which is honestly why craft roulette is a challenge for me mm -hmm. because i am very much a i want to pick what i want to work with and if it's just kind of like thrust upon me my creativity goes right out the door. Mm, well, you're doing real well. Uh, that's only because we talked it through beforehand and I had time to kind of brainstorm it. Well, discussion... that's why we do that. Yeah, the discussion uh, section is pretty important. Yeah, because we don't want to throw you under a bus. We don't want you to be miserable, even though you were a little bit. But it wasn't our intention. And that's why we do talk about it. Kelly has been one of our most visible thinkers, I think. I think so. Mm -hmm. We could we could see your brain working. I could smell the smoke. 
I don't think she was that short circuit. I'm worried about it. Yep. <laughs> I can relate to that. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's... fair enough. So there it is. Um, Lenine, these are from Waffle Flower. Waffle Flower. These little sayings. So it says sending bear hugs. That's a good tiding. Summer colors, kind of bright and fresh. There's my mechanics. And oh, I don't have a tide close. Okay, so we gotta tie something close. I gotta do my center. Hmm. <laughs> do my sentiment before I, I start attaching things. Is it too late to get under here? Why do I do this to myself? So are you, do you, uh, my, one of my biggest downfalls is I glue too fast. I always think, oh, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Gotta glue it. And then I always have to do things like this. Right? My to... biggest problem is <sighs> I, I'm the exact opposite where I get paranoid that <laughs> I'm going to, um, like it's not going to fit or it's not going to look right. So I take the time to check it and recheck it and recheck it and check it and check it and check. And it's like, it's overkill. It's too much. Like <laughs> you do not need to check it this many times, Kelly. How about the front door? Do you check it a lot too? Um, yeah. If I did not check it before <laughs> I go to bed, I have to get back up out of bed and be like, did I check this? Yeah. I'm not going to try to do these all at once. I'm just going to do them one at a time. There. I tied that one shut. Frustrated. Or closed. By Jingo. I sure am glad as a member I can put in a couple things. A couple cards because I got another card. I'm excited. We almost need some little birds or something up there, don't we? How can we make our little birds and still have dyes? And... Do you ever do any, you started as a scrapbooker. Yes. Any, do you do that ever anymore? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, I do not. I heard well, that here's you're... the thing that like when you are a card maker, you know, we're talking like for the most part, A2 size cards. Like I don't, I can't fill up that much space anymore. Mm -hmm. It is a different approach. I think my sentiment's going to be crooked. We'll put these little beads up in the tree. That's what we'll do. I may have to uh, fix this, but we're going to go with it for now. Okie doke. Being the gardener that I am, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Yeah, um, this we is probably won't have any oh, over here, but that's okay. Insane. Whatever. It's going to be what it's going to be. Yeah. What don't you like? My um, sentiment is crooked. Oh. Yeah. But it's because the stamps are so small. Oh, yeah. Like. They are small, yeah. I see him. Have you so learned any new tricks lately that you just went, oh, that is the coolest idea? Um, Oops, wrong one. I don't know that I have. Mm -hmm. I've been liking uh, 3D embossing folders lately. I think those are a ton of fun. Uh-huh. And there's a little technique you can do where you kind of like ink them up um mm -hmm. yeah i'm still gonna use, you know what i am i'm still gonna i'm gonna use this action wobbler still even though i don't even need to because i have a different mechanic excellent but i'm gonna use it because i think it's cute you can double you can double up your those kind of things you just can't leave them out yeah that's the thing. And if you are just tuning in and you don't have never been here on Craft Roulette, 
this is the original ultimate paper crafting card making game show challenge and you can play along with us and we're going to tell you here just in a few minutes how you can do that very thing and we are here with the very very architectural <laughs> Kelly Taylor and Mr. Wheel, which is who s decides what we're going to do, threw her a curveball and she's just soldiering right through it. What would Frank Lloyd Wright say? He would say, why did you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> Help! Add a water feature. Add a weird angle. Something like that. Add a window. <laughs> I would have been, I would have preferred add a window than mechanical. <laughs> hey, you know, windows have inherent mechanics inside of them, like this the so true. up and down mechanism. This is so true. It could be, you know, there's ways. Look at this little guy. He's, He's adorable. a jiggler. <laughs> He's really cute. All right. You can move now. up and to the right just a little bit to get a full vision. There, there perfect. Go. Aw. Hugs and kisses for the new Mr. and Mrs. Oh, 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 I see. How very cute. And your colors are great. For summer. Yeah, they're good summer colors. Do you keep track of, like, um, keep track of your favorite color combinations, or do you swatch those out as an architect? No. <laughs> if it has something to do with being organized, um, I don't do it. Okay. Yeah, no. What did I do with my BO2? Let me see if I can use a B. Oh, it's over here. It's over here because it was in my my pictures. I was taking pictures. You know, because just in case you haven't got enough of me <laughs> yet, I, I have a video of featuring more Trinity Stamps products. <laughs> that went on. I know, I've seen while them. We were, I, uh, while I we watch, were doing that. I watch a Trinity Stamp video almost every morning. And we do have um, a Trinity Stamps has a craft roulette inspired set. Die, it's mostly dies, and the car is one of them. So it's real fun to work with Tanisa on yeah. these things. Yeah, Tanisa, she's great. Tanisa, she's uh, we had a. I was trying to figure out because I did. You know, I designed our stamp set and die set. And I was trying to figure out how to get my Illustrator files to be dies. And I reached out to a couple of companies and they just wouldn't talk to me. And then I kept asking different guests that we had on, <laughs> hey, do you know anything about dies? Hey, do you know anything about dies? And I would get answers like, yeah, but they take a year to make. Or, you know, just different answers. And then finally, Tanisa was like, just send me the files. And then we had a die set. Now we work her to tears. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> My files we're are pretty close, but wobble. she definitely helped them. Mm -hmm. Yep. I kidnapped my mom, uh, my mom's cricket to try and test them out. Yep. And so I was These just using the cricket. Things. Nope. I gotta move it up. When you're a novice, you figure it out. Well, it, I can, oh, that's I, how I, I felt with all of my stamp illustrations. I was I like, can, I have no idea what I'm doing. Right. Just absolutely none. But we do right, it now anyway. I need to find, <laughs> but that's how I need we to learn. Find something to tie to tie it. Let's see if this yes, I still work. have the cricket. It is. Not hooked up, but it is tucked away. 
I don't use it. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can make a. Oops, I see a pipe. It's been a long time. I don't use twine. <laughs> use twine or anything. I'm... I know Terry Howard. I don't use it. I just don't. I know you. I know you do. It's not bow. my jam. It's not my jam. Oh, I like. Okay, so we've got bright summer colors on both of these, and they're completely different. I like that. For those of you suggesting me as a guest, I the show wouldn't <laughs> the show wouldn't be able to run. I do a lot. I do. There is a video for members of me making a card in the members video library. You can find it. That's true. It's a good card, too. Look, that looks like a jazzy card. I can see you just throw some paper my way. I and there, there's only one place to craft myself. in this room. It's not that big. No, it's a pretty small room. But it was, it's like the biggest bedroom in the house. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not very big. I think I would make a jazzy card too. You guys go up, up top. Yeah, I tied. Okay, I did, I did, I did. Okay, who's... Who all is going to play this week? Come on. We need to have some play -its. We didn't hit our 400 this week. Last time Kelly was on, we had like 87 submissions. Oh, Mary runs the show. That's funny, Libby. <laughs> uh, up until about episode 30, she had the buttons, and they were often pressed out of order. <laughs> it's true. Is true. Sequence is not my strong suit. And they've only gotten more complex since. They he's got multiple. Oh, he's got so many buttons. Just gonna see if we can tape these in place. It is a flat. The mechanical also means mechanics of this card, which is not <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> They have to it's coming together. They have to just. You're doing well, Kelly. You haven't you haven't said a bad word. You haven't thrown anything. You haven't cried to my knowledge. And uh, I think showing over yet, knowing Mary. that this is not your jam. I think you're just doing great. All right. So, so there. Well, maybe, okay, so Crystal Hovestall, Hovestall says, you make such beautiful cards. And you make it look so easy. What inspires these great ideas and beautiful cards? So, well, you told us a lot of it is getting product to deal, to make with. But you said that when you get to pick and choose. So how do you decide what to pick and choose? So usually I just am like. like whatever um, like product I am drawn towards. Like most of the time I can see what I want to do in my head. Like I can see mm -hmm. it in my head. Okay. Um, let's maybe we'll, we'll put some shimmer on the balloons. Those are weekly wogglies. Sandy Scott says she loves your card. Oh, thank you. Cheryl then... Bradley, Bradley says she loves the twine on the balloons. You're making some good choices, and they're appreciating it. We're almost done. Yeah, Ann Shackles, how's your move going? Ann Shackles bought a new house. Oh, that's exciting. In Australia, so we can go visit. I'm sure she's got a craft room. We will be splitting the super chats we made tonight. Uh, yeah, the thank first you time guys. we've had super chats, so you know, that in about a hundred episodes, maybe we could 
buy a ticket to Australia. <laughs> In a hundred years. Well, I'm going to move this over so you guys can see. <laughs> and uh, whether I got the sparkles or not, y'all are getting sparkles. You love a good sparkle. I and do. And see, love that's a good the thing. Sparkle. And you can add it. It wasn't like we had no sparkles. Well, we've made a, congrat a wedding card, so it should have sparkles. Yeah. Shouldn't it? I, have, I think so. I think you made a good choice. I forgot to put in this. <laughs> oh, well, they're laying back. The, they're newly. The windows ones. are just really reflective. The yeah, car the, has no. They're seats. reclining. We're just going to pop those in right quick. They're taking a nap. If you put the seats in and no driver, though. Runaway car. They are off looking at the sunset, holding hands. There we go. Just there pop those go. little guys right in there. <laughs> oh, darn. That's a cute little car. If anybody wants to look into that car, it is made go. by Trinity and it is adorable. And it's made based on the craft roulette car that is right there in our stamp set. Which is driven, in theory, okay. I think by I'm, our craft roulette I'm, deputy, Heidi. Done. I think you're done. You think you're I done? I think I'm done. Oh, I think it's... Did I get all of them right? Summer colors, mechanics. Let's find out. Uh-huh. Tied. Tied clothes. Mm hmm What and was the other thing? Good tidings. Good tidings, yeah. This is trash. This is crooked. I'll fix it later. <laughs> it looks very, very cute. I think I got all of the parameters as well. We've got good tidings, and it says hugs coming your way. Summer colors, I've got reds and yellows. Um, mechanics, I've got a car, which is so funny that we decided to do the same one. And I also have a robot. And tie clothes, I tied a loop right here. I'm so and impressed with your robot. It holds that there. <laughs> and well i'll tell you about this robot you can't see him very well but he is um i have a dirty old image of him but here's the here's the diet or the drawing of it he is what we give people who have sent in a hundred cards and we've sent a lot so um he is roulette the robot and uh he's our mug club stamp and so when you've sent in a hundred cards, you get a you become a part of the mug club. And since at Club Fifty Two we give you nothing, we started doing this, and it's a lot of fun. At first we did mugs, and then we and Mr. Producer said, "Well, what do they like more than anything?" I said, "I don't know." He said, "Stamps. Let's make them a stamp." So we did. So that's, yeah, that's adorable. That's who that is. And then I had enough time, and this guy was already made. So. Good tidings, it says sending bear hugs. And he's not a bear, but he could be a bear, bare minimum he be, robot. He could be a one heck of a hugger. You don't know. <laughs> he does have the big the big uh, arms that can it, it reach needs around to say you. bare metal hugs. Bare metal hugs. It could, and, we'll adjust it. Yeah. And thank you, Ellen, for the $10 for the Australia Flight Fund. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Owen. And then I think this is a Dutch door, one of the Dutch doors. It's just a partial cut. That's all it what, is. What is a Dutch door? That's what this is, a Dutch door. She might not or, be able to see Or can your... you see it? Can you see my card? Your car card? This one. No, the little robot card. Are you able to see that? It's kind of a Dutch door. She's yeah. on her phone only. Okay, no problem. Yeah. You'll see it later. And, oh, I see um, it. No, I do see it. Now I see it. Yeah. It just has a cut. And so a Dutch door is one of those doors that has a top half it's and like a bottom a half. half. Wall. Yeah. Yeah. Fancy. So, yeah, it's not I would have preferred that to mechanics, but here we are, nonetheless. <sighs> you made it. You made it. You did a we great made it. job. Oh, and, and Anne Shackle says she does have a guest bedroom and a sofa bed. <laughs> That's good to know. So, and then tied clothes, I tied a little ribbon on the tree. 
So I think we did it. We did it. Bravo us. We made it through. Praise Jesus. <sighs> Indeed, yes. Well, guess what, girl? You get to relax a minute while I tell other people how they can play. Even with these same crazy mechanics and all those things, they're going to want to play, I hope. So uh, we'll be... What? Point of order just before we okay. uh, leave. Go ahead and rejoin the call with your computer and leave your phone on. Yeah, perfect. Very perfect. good. Very good. Yep, we're going to give away some stuff and uh, tell them who's coming up. And we'll be back to say goodnight to you. And hopefully you won't be crying like your daughter was. Woo! We did it. We did it. We got those parameters. We whipped them into shape. You can play too. You do need to include all four parameters. Please tell us how you justified using them. We are all about, if you can justify it, we will accept it. Um, make sure it's handmade, family friendly, and um, send it in before Monday morning and Central Daylight Time. And then if you are a member for as low as $5 a month, you can have till Thursday evening till at midnight. It's going to be a fun, fun gallery. Next week, we get to have Nina Yang on. I'm looking forward to her. She's a sweet, sweet woman. She owns Waffle Flower Design Crafts. And then we start the five Friday month of May with mothers and daughters. Amanda Kelly will be set, started, ugh, setting us up with Kel, Amanda Stevens and Kelly. Laura Lauren Taylor and Abby, Jama Mommy and Kaylin, and then Gina and Rena will be joining us to on Mother Daughter Month on Craft Roulette. I'll tell you if it was a good idea sometime in June. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it really. So we do need to thank our members once again and thank our super chatters this week. This that was fun. You guys are so very, very generous. Thank you very, very much. The way we are not paid, except for their now super chats, and then um, by any corporations. This is our membership is how we are compensated for showing up every Friday and Tuesday evening for free shows. And so we thank each and every one of those wonderful, wonderful members to for joining us. Everybody in the Fun Supporter and Up group, stay Stay right where you are because we are going to have an after show right after this show and it will be our first. Go over to craftroulette.live, member login, look for the Zoom schedule and it will say after party, after show after something. Party. After party. And if you need help logging in, just use the contact form. I will be watching for that uh, for at least an hour after the show to get you in there if you need help. Sounds so. great. Sounds great. And then, yes, there's mindless crafting at midnight with tracy so we've got a full night for you tonight starting at craft roulette and going through the after show and then right into mindless crafting at midnight whoa what a night let's give some stuff away shall we we do if you sent in one of those 393 cards last week uh because Those, of, there are 393 contestants. That's okay. not all the cards, but yep, you can opt out, and I don't. I'm never in there either. So okay, so your name will be on that wheel, which is doesn't look like a wheel, but the giveaway, and then we will spin it for some wonderful, wonderful prizes and vouchers. The first thing we always give away is a handmade card with an itty bitty gift. It is called a Krog, a Craft Roulette original giveaway. This one goes all over the world. Some of them are going to be just for the United States, but not this one. This one's a fun one. I, I love sending these off. Who's going to get it? Oh, nice, Carrie Lee. I, I will be thrilled to send you a card, a crog, Carrie Lee. You need to go to craftroulette.live, claim prize form and fill that out. Make sure you use the same email that you did to send in your card because there is a safety feature. For a craft roulette goodie bag, this does need to stay in the United States. Because shipping is cuckoo. Sandy S, please, but if you are out of the United States, Sandy S, just contact me and we'll send you a crog or we can figure out something. For a rabbit hole design $25 voucher, it's a tax thing in California. We don't want 
anybody getting in trouble. Going to... So, uh, Marianne, who has Rabbit Hole, has a four-month-old grandson with the same initials as my one-month-old grandson, Julie Humphrey. Julia Humphreys. Congratulations. Julia Humphreys. If anybody knows her and she's not here tonight, let her know that she needs to claim that prize. Please. For a Waffle Flower $25 gift certificate, it's going to... Anyway, so we talk about our grandsons. It's great fun. Mariska Whitfield. Congratulations, Mariska. I'll be happy to get you all fixed up with that. Um, some of you may not hear from me till Monday, but you will hear once I hear from you. For a Your Paper Insider box of paper, this does need to stay in the U.S. because it's actual product. And it's a good one, man. I got my new one today, or this week, and it is beautiful. If you are a team purple person, oh, there's some pretty paper in there. Rhonda F., congratulations. And for a 18 mm -hmm. by 24 inch glass board, Craft Roulette Studio Craft Board, I think I said Julia that Julia Humphreys is here and almost fell out of her chair. <laughs> oh, good for you. <laughs> This is going, this does have to say in the United States. Oh, it's Sylvia Pedrajic. She is not in the United States. Sorry, I will send you a crog. Uh, so, we can work. If, if she wanna, wants to pay the shipping. Okay, okay. If she wants to pay the shipping, then we can do it. Sylvia will give you, let me know. Just claim that prize and we'll figure it out, okay? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I would love to have be able to get her that because she is such a great support. And she's a talent too. Super nice woman. I've met her on Zoom calls. Sylvia, we want you to get this in your hands. So, all right. Well, congratulations, all. If you send in a card this week or a project with those four parameters, you'll be on the wheel for next week. Same, same spin sponsors. Same bat time, same bat channel. Let's bring back Miss Kelly Taylor. Oh, how's the architect's brain now? Is it kind of happier? You did great. Yeah, I mean, we made it through. I I like this card better than the one we made last time. So that's a win. We're going to call it a win. Oh, I would. I would. It's super cute. It really is. And um, especially, it's it's very special because it was hard for you. And you didn't, you didn't take like, oh, I'll just do less than. You did a really good job. Well, you thank didn't you. Just, I appreciate that. You weren't just messy and going, oh, I can't do it. I'm just going to slop it together. You were very, very diligent, and you did a beautiful job. It's super cute. Well, the car makes it easy because the car is pretty cute. It is pretty cute. It is <laughs> <You're> pretty cute. <right. laughs> it is pretty cute, and you're pretty cute, too. So what do you have coming up? Um, I don't know. What do I... Do you have any events I I, I, or anything? I the Secret Garden Altenew yeah. retreat that I'm teaching in. That's in May. Mm -hmm. That's coming right um, up. And then I'm teaching at the Nashville Craft Retreat at the end of it. Yeah. That's, that's, well, it. that's Otherwise, that soon. Otherwise, you can okay. always find my videos over on my YouTube channel. Um, you know, we usually <laughs> get a bare minimum one a week. Usually, it's two or three. Mm-hmm. Which is down in the description. So you can get link over there and subscribe so you don't miss a single minute of this talented lady. Yeah. Thanks for doing something hard with us. Well, thank you for inviting me. Yeah, that was the easy part. <laughs> <laughs> this is the time of night, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, crafters and craftettes. We give our nogs a big smooch. Mm -mm. I'm going to blow one for Kelly's nog. She deserves one. <laughs> and we will see you Tuesday on In Review next Friday for Nina Yang. It's going to be a great week. We're in about five to ten minutes if you are a silver member or up. That's right. We're going to party. Let's go do it. Thank you all. Chatterbox, thank you for all those gifts. My gosh, that was so weird. And Kelly, we'll be in touch. All right. We yes, need your you car. So yeah. You guys take care. Stay safe. We love you much. Night, night. <laughs>